Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we uh, successfully did this. <laughs> what we did this? So we did this, uh, how we can render the data table into our project. So let's go back and uh, first to uh, remove these weird spaces. So you can remove them like this. So I'm skipping this. Uh, I'm doing this for only first one and then I'm going to skip this one. So basically I'm going to teach you that how you can render the specific, uh, how you can render the CSS and JS file for a specific blade. So we are not going to add the data table file into master blade. So we are going to add this into this blade. So how we can add uh, into a specific one, right? So we are going to just add this here. So how we, how you can do this so you can do this using section tag so this is not a tag it's a blade directive so type this section and here you need to type uh, styles because we are going to add the css files here and then i'm going to end section okay and uh, section and here i'm going to add all of the file so let's go here and if there is a files of data table it's a uh, not uh, it's a cgs file so let me go here and if there is our there are cs file and it's only one file so let me copy this out and paste it here and then i'm going to set its uh, path so let me cut this out and here i need to specify this so uh, acid and then i need to type acid slash or uh, slash then i need to paste this path right and then i'm going to add this uh, after this content section and here i need to type this so uh, end section not end section i need to start the section right section and then i'm going to make this a uh, script right uh, remember that i need to render them into the master blade so i will add this uh, after completing this script tag uh, script section not tag okay then let's go bottom go to the bottom and here you need to specify your so basically these are why these uh, two ones are added so it's this one and this one why because we are using multiple data table we are using this one this one and this one that's why these are added so you if you are going to use only one so you can identify that which ones are the actual file so you can get their path okay so i'm going to copy this one okay i'm adding this here so let me set its path oops so let me uh, copy it uh, correctly so it would be uh, acid oops it's a uh, acid slash uh, oops uh, art slash then i need to specify its path and then i'm going to copy this again okay it's a uh, acid and then i need to type the acids then not and then i need to specify the path and now our path is set and we need to render these section into our uh, master file so let's go to the master file so let's first add this into uh, add here a style yield so let's type yield and then here you need to type style so we are referencing this one so let me open this out for you okay we are referencing this style right so we are adding this uh, this uh, this link uh, here so after this file our this uh, link will be rendered here so let me show you that how it will be rendered so close this out and open this localhost 8000 and then what is the name of the file so it would be uh, let's go to the index file so let me close this dashboard so it's this one bootstrap uh, it's a data table dot bootstrap 4 dot min dot css right so let's click on this control u and here let me check the video size so it's not going bigger okay okay so let's check that and yes this bootstrap 4 dot min dot js so it means that our this file is rendering here why it's rendering here because we define this uh, for yield here so whenever we define the yield uh, if i add this here so this will be rendered before this bootstrap css great so we added our this uh, style and then we are going to add uh, yield directive so we are going to add this before this app.js 
so here i'm going to add this uh, yield and it would be a script so we are defining this one so let me open it for you okay we are referencing this one so it will load these two files so let's go here and now the time is to give it a refresh and then we are going to open this out hope our data tables are also going to work maybe uh, it, the file names are different oh, it's still loading and let's click on this it's not working let me go here and check that uh, which ones uh, i think we added uh, files for different ones so uh it's not working man why it's not working because we did not uh, copy the exact file exact files so that's why it's not working so whenever you, you copy the exact path because there are four js files so i copied only two one so i will show you the error so you can get them from there so it's throwing this error so after adding these files so this will work for you so hope uh, this series help uh, you a lot in your career so if you like this uh, like these uh, videos so subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected for more upcoming updates so i will meet you in the next one bye bye